Emlyn Heap's dream was to emulate the famous scene from the Blue Max, where George Papard's small biplane flew under the railway bridge in Fermoy, and in a plane built by himself. Well, it was designed and built with the help of his friend Robin England and called the Bimax, a portent, perhaps, of what was to come. The plane was designed to be assembled and disassembled quite quickly and easily. And with Emlyn and another friend, Richard Bottomer, normally handling the operation. As Emlyn often said, if I crash, I only have myself to curse on the way down. Finally, it's time to fly. Emlyn finds the experience of handling this small, light biplane exhilarating. He finds it extremely manoeuvrable and responsive with plenty power available. Emlyn was worried that in 22 years since the Blue Max flight, the canopy of trees had grown much denser and masked the planned approach until the last moment. It was a worry and made the proposed attempt more dangerous. Months of dedicated practice were needed. The plane was reliable enough, but there were a few accidents, and one where the plane was almost lost. Emlyn survived with a few scratches, but was conscious enough that even a tiny error on the viaduct attempt could end up in total disaster. He was aware of the danger, but nothing would put him off his ambition. So day after day, the preparation went on with enthusiastic onlookers, always adding an extra dimension. Robin's engineering skills meant they had a very robust and reliable plane. His input was crucial, and without him, there would have been no Bimax and no viaduct attempt. He was also a fine pilot and was fully conscious of Emlyn's dedication to doing the flight himself. They had to toss for the opportunity to do the flight, and happily for everyone, Emlyn won.
Robin wasn't happy with the stability of the Bimax a few days before the viaduct attempt. So it was back to the drawing board, or at least the workshop. A few modifications and all is well. Emlyn and Robin looked at the viaduct section of the Blue Max many times. Emlyn had decided not to fly over the viaduct until the day of the attempt. On the fateful day, Emlyn left the airfield in Bartlemy and arrived near the viaduct for final preparation. The World War gun cameras were strapped to the fuselage with release cables at Emlyn's fingertips. Four more cameras on the ground would capture an event lasting no more than 10 seconds, or the disaster if anything went wrong. Emlyn takes off for the famous attempt to fly under the viaduct. The die is now cast. He does one pass over the bridge and then goes round to line up. The attempt has begun. The pictures will tell the story. This is a replay, and you can see the viaduct coming up through Emlyn's onboard front-facing camera. This is his view as he goes through, and the quick thumbs up at the end. A wonderful achievement. <laughs>